Hi, Karen Hadley here, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator from New Zealand. Welcome to this month's Global Stampin' Video Hop. We have got any occasions this month, so you're going to be wowed with lots of amazing creations from everybody, I'm sure, because we have got free reign to present to you any occasions. So I want to share with you this fine art floral suite, which I'll show you when I flip over to the desk view, and stamping on designer series paper, which is sometimes we um, a technique that I forget to do, but it is certainly really, really effective. So let's go over to the desk and get started. Okay, so this is the fine art floral suite, as I was saying, and we'll be using a few items from this uh, suite today. Uh, the gold foil, the 3D embossing folder, the uh, heat and stick powder, and some of the designer series paper, of course. So let me show you a couple of things. This is the stamp set. We are going to be using the large flower and the leaf today and the I'm thinking of you. The designer series paper, this is pretty special. I don't know if you've seen a video that has been um, around showing you how they create the designer series paper. Uh, if you go onto my business Facebook page, Stamping Bees, then you will see that uh, there. It might be a wee bit down now, but what they do is they actually paint, a painter, an artist creates this image and then it is transferred into designer series paper. It is absolutely fascinating. Certainly worth a watch. I might put it back up uh, higher up again so that people can see it if you're wanting to watch it because it is fascinating. So the beautiful artwork is then, as I say, made in des designer series paper. And then on the reverse side, we have the more muted watercolour effect type papers. And we're going to be using one of the reverse sides for our project today. So let me just pop that to one side. So we will be using, I have already used the 3D textured painted um, embossing folder. And I have already embossed that for you. As you can see, it really does look like someone's used a paintbrush and created that gorgeous effect on that cardstock and I have already printed out uh, stamped the I'm thinking of you and this is the only die that I've actually used in this today this one actually tell a lie not that one this one the re I haven't used the rest of the dies but there is some wonderful dies including this um, sentiment that you can use and I have to try and read this just want to say so absolutely fantastic for those special cards okay let's get started so we're going to be using the reverse side of this designer series paper and i have already cut that down and i'm going to be using a mat because we're using a photopolymer stamp set which does not have the foam like the red rubber stamp does we like to use a um, foam mat underneath it just helps to give a really much clearer image on your stamp okay let's start off with this is the large image and i am going to use petal pink so i'm going to stamp the flower first so just inking up move over a bit so that you can see making sure that I've got that well inked and I'm going to just pop that about there and that is the petal pink always looks a little bit orange when you when you pop it on but it does uh, dry to a pinky hue okay so the next will be the leaves and I'm doing that in pear pizzazz let me just take this large, large flower off. I'm going to pop the leaves on there. There we go. And that is going to go right there. 
But as you can see, that designer series paper just creates that gorgeous background for the stamp. Just, it is softer muted and patterned and just really does give it that lovely, lovely look. But we are going to add a little bit more. Now this is a two-step stamping uh, stamp set, whereas you can stamp this if you want in a darker colour to give that flower a little bit of extra depth. But we're going to be using the gold embossing. Um, not gold embossing, we're going to be using the gold flakes today. Gold foil. So this is the gold foil. So I'm going to be very careful when I open this because it is like a like a like um, one of those party popper things when you open it up and it goes everywhere. Um, so we've got to be very careful when we open that. So to use this, we're going to use some Versamark. And ink that up well. doesn't look very clear these days but it doesn't stamp um, with a color which is good okay so I'm just going to place that it doesn't have to be you just pop it where you want it to go so to speak it doesn't line up exactly with with anything okay give it a good press make sure that all goes on there and then we're going to get our heat and stick powder so you just apply this like you would normal uh, normal embossing powder i should have used my embossing buddy but hopefully hopefully this ink had died a uh, dried died dried um, well and truly before we inked up with the Versamark okay just tap the excess off just gently here we go now I'm just going to blast you slightly I'm sorry I don't tend to like doing these sorts of things in your ear but I'll be it doesn't take long so and I'll just take it off, off so you can't hear it and give it a bit of a heat and it does not take long see that's nice and shiny now and I'm going to open my gold foil as I say you've got to do it very carefully there we are. I'm just going to dip that in there great doesn't it it's so amazing this stuff just love it love, love gold and bling and gems sometimes this gets caught on my nails which I'm not complaining about so what happens now is that the excess you just rub it off in fact the best thing to use and I should have um, brought it over is a sponge and I thought I actually had a sponge in here I do. Here we go. It gets lost. It gets lost in there. So you just wipe off the excess with the sponge. As easy as that. There we go. Isn't that just so pretty? Now, when I did this, I thought, oh, I actually want a bit of gold on the leaves as well. So let's carefully pop that over there. Now, the other way to... Uh, add the gold foil is just using a little bit of glue so I have the glue here and just a very fine fine line oops that's a bit of a blob won't matter though and just adding just adding a very fine line up on this top edge of the leaf oh it's not coming out now there we go so you don't need much Oops, that's probably that's probably too much, but that's all right. It's only gold after all. Okay, so we will do the same there. Just pop it on, and I'll leave that to dry for a little bit while we. This glue does dry quite quickly, but I'll just leave that on for a minute or two. 
while we do something else and then I will come back and brush it off. Okay, as I say, be very careful with that because it does fly everywhere. Okay, so we'll stamp on the inside. I'm just going to stamp this small flower from the stamp set, the art gallery stamp set. It's just this gorgeous little one here, um, just on the inside. And I would also do this in the envelope. Just, uh, just do a small one. You could actually add more if you wanted to, but I'm keeping this card um, fairly simple. Okay. There we go. And then I want my to do my usual uh, because the card is quite simple with sort of a textured background. One of my favourite things to do, as you know, if anyone that has been watching my videos before, I love adding uh, rough edges just to add that extra texture. Now it is obviously not everyone's cup of tea. Um, purely a choice, but I absolutely love it. So just quickly do that. That's probably not a very pleasant noise in your ear either. So I do apologize. I'm having one of those videos today where I'm subjecting you to some loud noises. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that on. Oh, see, it has got on my nail. That'll stay there for a little while, which is quite nice. Okay. I'll get rid of that because we don't need that. Now, let's see if I can get the rest of this off. Okay. Get the main part of it off and then use the use the sponge. So uh, this canister of the gold foil really does last you for ages because as you can see, a little bit goes such a long way. Beautiful, love it. Okay, let's put the lid on that. And have a big container to put it in once you open the jar as well because it expands. to one side and once again I'm just going to really I really want to give this one a really good um, mess up the flower of course is the focal point but I love the effect of the designer series paper on the background you rip it like I just did I absolutely don't mind that at all it's all part of the all part of the look I'll just do that corner because I'm gonna mess it up quite a bit okay so I will put some dimensionals on the back of there no actually I'm gonna glue it I think gluing is probably better because I just want to keep the edges free and I will just put on a slight angle I think don't like everything to be too square don't know about you here we go and I, as I say I've already already stamped that and die cut I'm thinking of you and this is like a postage stamp cut on this sentiment and I will put that on dimensionals and probably use some minis for this and a couple more okay so it is quite quick and easy but it's so effective I think with the gold and the 
designer series paper so I'm just going to because the front is crooked I've got a terrible habit of putting things on crooked when I've got the front crooked so I'm just going to do that and it's nice and soft which is what I was aiming for and then I have got the from the snail mail some white just get my and I'm going to use the dark petal pink the dark petal pink blend this is such a great way to get your project with matching ribbon or twine this dries real quick and I just want a small bow small bow to put there but I did want to have it um, not too big because it is delicate a delicate card so I thought this would be the best option okay and Tying a little bow, sorry, probably just taking it right off camera. And just get my glue dots and my tool, my little pick me tool. Glue dots are great, aren't they? Just love them. Okay, just gonna put that up. Uh, put it up about there I think yeah. cute and I thought I would add some of these gold tiny gold gems and just want the smallest ones uh, these uh, the gilded gems. Let's make sure they're not too big. Mm. <clears throat> they might be a little bit too big. I do have these ones. These might be better. Yeah. Is that going? Just one. Bit delicate and small, I think. these tools you can have a play and there you have your card so I hope you enjoyed this is I'm thinking of you and it is stamping and using your designer series paper as a background for stamping on so make sure that you click on the next person and oh actually sorry before you go before you do click I have done another one in another color this is a yellow based one same papers from the um, same suite but just in a brighter color I think I like the the softer one but um, that's just me um, but yes make sure you click on the next person's video I'm sure you'll have some fantastic videos to watch and some great hints on some fantastic new ideas and techniques so take care and I will see you all next month and make sure if you see anything you like here and want to know more about it please do leave me a comment and I will get back to you bye